I can now only play my egg, and my egg revealed a dragon, and this made me win and actually lose this round. Hi, this is Muri, and this is Lizard. Lizard is an online card game that I made uh, that you can play in your browser with up to six players. And uh, this is going to be a walkthrough video where I'm going to explain all of the details and features of uh, Lizard. But if you just want to jump right in and play the game, you can just watch the uh, two minute explanation video, which uh, yeah has everything that you need to know to start playing. But uh, otherwise, just stay tuned. So the basic rules of Lizard are quite simple. You get a bunch of cards, you guess with how many of those cards you will win, and then you try to win exactly uh, that many times. And not more and not less. And if you're correct, you get points, but if you're wrong, you lose points. And after 10 rounds, if you are the player with the highest amount of points, you win. So to play the game, you have different options. Uh, you can either play this game against simple AI opponents to learn the game, you can also create a new private room where you can invite other players and configure all the settings that you want. Or you can also match make against uh, other players here in Lizard or in uh, the Discord server. But in this case, I will just create a new private room and wait for uh, Sala to join, who made most of the artwork for this game. So, um, yeah. So before she joins, this is the screen where you can customize the game uh, as the host, the first player. And you can choose between different game modes, and game modes are basically uh, presets for this game. Uh, but you can also individually enable or disable special cards that you want to use for this game. There are also special rules that you can enable or disable. And then there are room challenges. Room challenges are uh, yeah, challenges that award players with additional points if they uh, complete them. And on the bottom of this page, you can see the used deck for this game, basically. And uh, right now, I can immediately tell, like, uh, dragons and snakes, they are always included, and there's always four of them. And the dragon is the most powerful card in this game. And the first dragon that is played onto the pile uh, always wins. And on the other hand, snakes, uh, they never win. And uh, they are useful if you have actually won the amount of times that you have announced and don't want to win anymore. And then there are 13 of each of the four colors in this game. So uh, yeah, so I don't want to overload you with all of these special cards in this game, but, but at the same time, I want to show you the special cards. So this is why I'm going to choose the recommended setting, which yeah enables these special cards. So let's get started, I would say. So there she is, and you can actually invite other players to your room by simply sharing the room's URL with them. And uh, then everybody just has to get ready. And yeah, let's just get started. So the game is started, and we are in round one. And in round one, every player gets one card. In round two, two cards. Round three, three cards, and so on. And uh, because it's round one, I can only guess to win either zero times or one time with that one card that I have in my hand. And uh, here we see that there is the trump card. And the trump card is revealed at the beginning of every round and is there to determine the trump color for this round. And the trump color just uh, says that cards with this color have superior value over the other colors. So the yellow one in this case would be superior to the green seven that I have in my hand. I am the starting player this round, and because I am the starting player, I am actually going to guess one. One, because I'm assuming that she doesn't have trump, or a dragon, or a higher uh, green. And let's see what happens. So, she actually also guessed one. So I will just play my green seven, and see what she has. Oh, she had a trump four, and this means she was right, I was wrong. Uh, I lost points and she gained points. So now we are in round two and now Sela is guessing. And I have one of the special cards in my hand now. So the egg is a special card that when played will um, uh, yeah, play a random card from the deck for me. So it can be a dragon, it can be a trump card. I don't know, so uh, we'll see. So now you can see that um, Sela has guessed one in round two. And uh, this means that in round two, that I cannot guess one 
and uh, this just makes sure that one player is wrong in every round. I have an egg and I am the second player, the last player in this round and I feel like my hand is pretty bad so I'm just gonna say zero for this round. So let's see what happens. Oh, Salah also had an egg. I said I, that I don't want to win in this round and if I now play my blue seven I will actually lose which I want and uh, let's just do that. Yeah, the, the player who wins the trick is also the player who plays the first next card. And uh, a trick is basically, um, yeah, a pile that is won by a player, just as a side note here. So I can now only play my egg, and my egg revealed a dragon, and this made me win and actually lose this round. So I was wrong by two guesses this round, and this is why I lost 20 points, so 10 times the amount of tricks that you were wrong. And uh, yeah, but if you're correct, you get 20 points plus 10 points for uh, every trick that you uh, were correct. And in this round, I still don't have a trump card in my hand or a dragon, but I have a golden egg, and the golden egg plays a random special card from the deck. So Salah already lost. I am betting on my golden egg to play a card that actually wins me the round. So uh, Salah has now played a lizard wizard and the lizard wizard is a special card that can transform the dragons or the snakes in this round uh, into the opposite. So dragons into snakes or snakes into dragons in one way. So she has transformed all dragons into snakes and uh, let's see, I play the golden egg, it actually plays a squirrel which copies the trump card from the top right corner, plays it for me, and this is why I actually won. Yay, and now it's round five. Wow, this is a special hand. So I have one trump card, high trump card, a high green, and three snakes. I can lose with each of these, and yeah, I'll just say one because of my high trump uh, card. So he wants to win three times and I just want to win once. Uh, which means probably that I should win as early as possible and this is what I'm going to do. So because I didn't have any yellow in my hand, I can play any of the colored cards. Um, this is called following suit. And I will play my snake to lose, which will make her win and lose the round. In this round, oh yeah, there is the special case that the trump card is a dragon. And when the trump card is a dragon, the first guessing player that round determines which of the four colors is the trump color for this round. So Salah has guessed green or uh, chosen green. This is why uh, yeah, all green cards are now trump. I am the last guessing player. She has guessed four. It is round six. This means I cannot guess two. So she actually won a round where she has announced four tricks. This means she has won 20 points plus 40 points for, uh, yeah, for the four tricks that she has guessed. And you can actually uh, check which cards were played in any given round by clicking on this helper. So we were both wrong. So I lost 20, I lost 10 points. So around eight. She has guessed three, it is round eight, and this means I cannot guess five. Hands looking pretty bad actually, but I can transform my snake into a lizard, uh, into a dragon with the help of the lizard wizard, so I'm gonna say four. I hope I can show you this uh, rule where uh, I have to follow the first played color. Oh, there, there we go. So now because Sala has played a green one, uh, I can only play other green cards and the special cards, but not the red or the yellow card. Uh, this is because the, yeah, the first played card with the color is called the suit card and other players have to play that color if they can. And, uh, special cards can be played at any given time. So I will uh, actually make her lose this game or this round, or this trick, sorry, with the snake, which doesn't win. It's, it has a lower value than a uh, green one. So green three, she seems to want to lose and 
Oh wait, but I actually wanted me to use my snake as a dragon. I forgot about that. Damn, I was so busy trying to sabotage her that I forgot about my own plan. A dragon? I could transform her dragon into a snake, but this would still make her win because the lizard wizard and the snake, they both have equal value. They both don't win. And because both don't win, the first card wins. And now I just have to hope that she doesn't win this one. Okay, she had another turn, but she didn't win either. So uh, it's a bit sad. Okay, this is another special case where the trump card is one of the special cards. And if the trump card is actually a special card, which is not a dragon or a chameleon, then there is no uh, trump color for this round. But if it is a dragon or a chameleon, then the uh, first guessing player that round uh, chooses which color is the uh, trump color for this round. Oh no. Well, I lost, but she will... Oh, actually she played an iguana. The iguana is also a special card, which uh, can uh, reduce the current guess of a player. So she played it to reduce her guess from four to three, which resulted in her actually being correct that round. So pretty smart. Okay, uh, last round. I have two dragons, two kind of high cards, I will just say, well, let's say five. Five is a kind of a magic number because there is a, a room challenge called Walls of Steel uh, that awards you with 50 points if you guess five or more and you're actually correct. So um, let's say five. Oh, it means she has to have Trump or a dragon. Okay, so she has her four, but I will actually also win this one, which is unfortunate. So now after round 10, the game is over and Sala won with 200 points. And yeah, uh, congratulations to her. So after the game, you can uh, see the leaderboards if you have actually landed on them. And you can also choose if you enjoyed the game or not. And um, yeah, this is actually one whole game of Lizard. So now that you have seen me lose and seen how Lizard works, uh, there are some other features that I want to talk about. First of all, uh, video chat. So every player in a room can join the video chat. And you see it looks like this. And only players who are in the video chat can see each other. So next up, we have a user accounts. And user accounts. Uh, unlock additional features uh, and you don't even need to enter your email address. You can just create an account in under a minute with just a username and a password and it allows you to add friends to your friends list. Uh, you can track your personal high score and other stats. You can upload a custom avatar and uh, you can also complete quests and earn rewards uh, like badges or card skins. And I'm going to show you by just creating a test account here. And after creating, you'll see that I have this kind of hub uh, available now in my uh, games. And I can check my quests like uh, I have here. I have four initial quests at the moment, uh, like this one where I just have to win a game against other players. And it awards me with this uh, badge that I can equip to show off against uh, other players. And uh, there's also this like card skin that you can earn by winning a game with the raccoon enabled. So uh, this will just change the appearance, uh, like the appearance of the uh, raccoon when you play it. And there's also uh, the collection tab to basically show all of your uh, badges and card skins. And there's also notifications which might include like updates and uh, gifts like this one. And uh, here I have my first badge that I can equip and add to my collection. And it will look like this. There are uh, leaderboards for different uh, time periods and uh, then there are uh, recent games that you can check out to see how other players uh, have uh, scored and how their games went. So I can, uh, for example, check out the game I played against Sala and then I can check, okay, on round 10 we played these cards. Uh, I can see which challenges were completed uh, and so on. So uh, last but not least, there's our Discord server. 
So uh, if you like the game and you want to play against other players, you can uh, join the Discord server, which is also uh, integrated uh, with Blizzard. So uh, over here we have the matchmaking, which will actually show you how many players are online uh, within the Discord server. And uh, if you hit matchmake, it will actually notify online players in Discord with a link to join your game. And uh, this is an easy way for you to uh, yeah, find uh, players if you like. So yeah, that's all for this uh, walkthrough video. I hope you liked it and uh, I hope you try this game sometime. And uh, if you have any questions or feedback, just uh, let me know and uh, hope to see you in Blizzard. Bye!